Hey everybody, I'm back to show you a little bit more about the Google app. So go ahead and open your Google app. It's the one with the big G and you're here. Now in the search bar, you'll see the camera tool. Go ahead and click on that and you're gonna get to this screen. You have two options here. You can allow access to your photo library and search photos that way, or you can click search with your camera up at the top and it's gonna open up your camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this fancy business card that I got here. Give it a second and you're going to see sort of the white shaded area and that's basically what it's searching google for so it comes up with a bunch of business cards and options like that which is pretty handy um, let's say i want to just sort of resize what it's searching for and just look for jack classen so now it's picking up um, visual matches for that for jack classen um, and it's kind of coming up with, I don't know, whatever that is, some, some big J's and some big L's. Um, you can also search the text. You sort of have to double click on the picture and it's a little finicky sometimes. There we go. I, uh, so what I was doing there is I held my finger down on the text and it finally picked up that I wanted to uh, search the internet for Jack Klassen. Now it's coming up with um, all that info, uh, whatever you would normally find on Google Images. There's other things you can do as well. So besides zooming in here, say there's an email address down here. So I can go ahead and click on that. And now it's searching the web for, for that email address. But if you look down below, I can email that, I can add the contact and all those usual things. So if I click on email, it's gonna open up um, a new message and go ahead and it automatically typed in the email there, which is handy. And um, there is one more feature I'm gonna show you as well. So you'll see right beside the search, button, there's also a homework button. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just sort of back out here for a second. So I'm gonna go back to the camera tool and I'm gonna go back to search with my camera. And if I click on homework, basically it allows you to search the web for homework questions. So say I got this math equation here that I'd like to solve and I can go ahead and take a picture of it. So now it's picked it up and I've selected homework. It's correctly identified the math equation here, and it's actually giving me a step-by-step -step on how to solve. Um, and it's detailed. So just keep in mind, um, if you have students working and things like that, this can be a very handy tool. It's giving me literally a step-by-step -step on how to solve this algebraically, which is pretty handy. Um, it's got the solutions down at the bottom, and it's got literally every single step there. Um, and it works pretty good for, for a lot of different kinds of math problems, um, even pretty complicated ones, at least the ones I've tried. So there you have it, a little bit more on how you can use the Google app. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.